So let's find, um, oh, by the way, I was gonna say, if you're tired and you end up like falling asleep, just do that. I slept through like an entire pose today, like two rebounds in an entire pose. So just like go for it. So um, if you wanna lay down on your back, maybe bring your feet apart with your knees together. Or if you wanna lie down just in your Shavasana to start, you can do that too. And then always the option to just come to a seat. So remembering that it's your practice, it's your body, and it's your time. So do whatever feels best for you. And we'll just offer this time to start to connect with our breath. And so maybe you want to Notice if the breath has a temperature. Notice if the breathing is shallow or if you feel your stomach. Not trying to change it, but just noticing the breath. For our practice tonight, we have that quote from Eckhart Tolle that we're going to come back to. But I also want to just encourage us to have something in our mind that we can concentrate on, that we come back to. Maybe it's the face of someone that we love. Maybe it's our dog. Maybe it's something beautiful in nature. In the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali, it's written that whatever elevates us, we can focus on. So whether you're on your back or on your seat, whatever feels best, just find that spot, that shape that allows you to really settle into your own body. And so I was talking about the sutras and, um, you know, Patanjali said that whatever makes us, elevates our consciousness, whatever kind of brings a smile to our soul, we can concentrate on that. And when we have our extended concentration, that is what leads us into meditation. And then from meditation, from extended meditation, we have that samadhi, that bliss. So I just invite you to just bring something to your mind, something that is elevating to you. Something that if your mind starts to wander tonight, you can just bring your mind back to that thing. It doesn't have to be anything super spiritual. Like for example, my thing that I'm going to concentrate on tonight is that Kansas City Chiefs arrowhead. That arrowhead with the big KC on it because that makes me so happy. Everything that surrounds, all that meaning behind that to me. So if my mind, when my mind starts to wander, I'm going to bring it back to that image. Just gently bring it back and just focus on that, holding that image in my mind. So as you breathe, maybe focus on that image. Keep that concentration on that image. Or maybe it's a color, maybe it's a smell. Something that can keep your focus, your concentration. Something to keep us present. Just allow your breath to be exactly how it is. Just noticing the breath in the body. Noticing your body on the floor in your sacred space at the sacred time together.
Now, as we begin to move into our first yin yoga shape, we can remember that our yin yoga is a yoga of surrender. It's our practice of really just mindfully letting go and allowing the shape that we're in to take our body wherever it needs to be. And so maybe if it feels good for you, come right up to the seat. You can roll over to one side. And then coming right up to a seat. Let's just bring our feet long in front, our legs long in front. And let the feet fall wherever they fall. We're not flexing the feet like we do in our vinyasa class. We're letting the feet fall wherever they fall. Maybe just adjust the little sits bones and then just begin to just kind of move your hands forward on your legs. And if you want, you can tuck the chin to the chest. Maybe you notice some stretching in the backs of the legs. Maybe you notice it in the back. I don't really notice it in my back very much unless I sit on a blanket. So maybe just think about, oh, I wanna kind of open up the backs of my legs today. If you feel that stretch, stay where you are. I'm gonna try to stretch out my upper back. So for me to do that, I need to come onto a blanket. So I'm gonna just sit on the blanket and drop my chin to my chest. So wherever you feel it, whether back to the legs or in the back, just allow yourself to come into that sensation and be that sensation. And if you don't feel it in either of those places, you can unmute and let me know. And maybe give it some time. We're gonna be here for about four more minutes. So we really, can think about how we feel and can we be here and relax? Can we relax where we are? Maybe closing the eyes and focusing on that one thing that's going to hold our concentration. Just dropping the jaw, letting the jaw be free. Our muscles stretch in about 30 seconds. So with our yin yoga, when we are here for longer, that's what helps us access that fascia and the ligaments and really, really nurtures these kind of deeper joints and connective tissues. Maybe exhaling a deep breath out. Just inviting in complete relaxation into our shape. You know, we're going to feel a little in the backs of the legs, or maybe the back but allowing us to surrender, inviting that surrender. We're not going to resist.
our mind wanders, just gently bring it back to that object of concentration. Now let's offer a deep breath in and exhale, sigh. Another deep breath in. Let it out. And one more deep breath in. And a long exhale. At the bottom of that last exhale, Gently make your way into what we call our rebound, which is maybe a Shavasana. So coming onto your back, and just allow that energy, that chi in the body, to just flow freely. And one of my teachers says that it's not so much what we feel in the shape, but what we feel in the rebound. So maybe bringing our awareness to that area of the body that we felt the stretch in and see how it feels in our rebound. Knowing that our energy is flowing freely. And with this liberated energy, this liberated chi, it's supporting the optimal functioning of our system. So trust that. And now, maybe two more deep inhales and exhales at your own pace. Just breathing in and out. And at the end of that final exhale, you're welcome to stay in your rebound. If you're feeling really content, just stay here. If you want to come into another shape, let's roll over onto our stomachs. And I'm going to give a couple options here. So if you come onto your stomach, you can have the feet far apart. Or they can be closer together. And you can decide where your feet are in a moment. But maybe bring your elbows underneath your shoulders. Your hands can be out in front. And just see if you can find a nice little back bend. Maybe you drop the chin to the chest. Perfect timing. We're just changing poses. So. Maybe you like your feet far apart. But see if you can find a little compression in that low back. And I like to just let my head hang. We're going to be here for about three minutes. If you don't feel anything on your low back, then maybe you want to bring your arms nice and wide. And have your arms straight. 
and coming into seal. So our arms aren't bent. Our, if our arms are bent, then that's going to be more muscle. We want to kind of stack those bones. So a little bit of a back bend wherever you're at. Allowing our breath to support us in finding that relaxation. And allowing that image that we chose to hold our concentration, that image that elevates our soul, bringing that into our mind to direct our consciousness. We have the ability to calm our nerves or to get us really pumped up just by changing our breathing. So maybe if you want to calm and find a deep exhale with your breath. You want to get yourself pumped up for a football game later. Maybe you don't have such long exhales. But knowing that the breath is inside of us and we have that ability inside of us. One more breath in. And let out a sigh. <sighs> And then come down onto your stomach, or maybe you come onto your back for your rebound. Allow that back. Maybe you hug the knees into the chest if you're on your stomach, and your rebound is done with your knees to your chest. And allow that chi to settle in the body. It's like that snow globe that we shake up. And then the snow falls over the sea. So let that chi just float onto the sea. Now we'll close our rebound with a deep breath in and a deep breath out at your own pace. You're welcome to stay in this rebound if you really like where you're at. Otherwise, roll back onto your stomach. If you're on your stomach, just stay right there. And if you're not, roll on over. And now if you have a blanket or a pillow, you can kind of rest your head on that. We're going to bring, we'll start with our left leg. Bring the left leg out to the side. So the knee is out to the side and the left foot can be just kind of below the knee or wherever that foot finds itself. This is a variation of a lizard. So maybe noticing it slightly 
on the inside of the leg, maybe that hip flexor area, that adductor area. And then we'll just rest here. And if that doesn't really feel very good, then I want to offer the option to come onto your back and find a reclined tree with that left knee out to the side. So if you don't want to be on your stomach, come onto your back and bring that left foot on the inside of the leg and let that left knee fall out to the side. Maybe you feel that a little more there. You can move that foot wherever that foot needs to be to kind of feel a little bit of opening in that hip socket. And find some surrender. I shared this quote in my email in class on Tuesday. I'm going to share it again because I think it's a really beautiful sentiment and it can be really supportive to just have this inner energy field. And Eckhart Tolle wrote, whatever the present moment contains, accept it as if you had chosen it. Always work with it, not against it. Make it your friend and ally, not your enemy. This will miraculously transform your entire life. I think yin yoga is an especially supportive place to practice that because sometimes in our yin shapes it doesn't feel the best but there's still some benefit so we practice this present moment noticing kind of what we tend to do if we're in discomfort what our tendencies are. And not judging that tendency, but just observing it. Do we come down on ourselves or do we, are we gentle with ourselves? Do we give ourselves a little bit of a break A couple more breaths here on this side, this left side, that left leg out, a few more breaths. Now, if you're in tree, just go ahead and bring that left leg long and draw that right leg, bend that right knee out. We're not gonna go into a rebound just yet. If you're on your stomach in that lizard variation, bring that knee in and bring that right knee out to the side. And you're always welcome to do something different on this side. So I was in tree before, I'm gonna try lizard on my right side. Put that right knee out. 
Yeah, nice. Anything you need in between sides, just offer that to yourself. And if your mind wanders, just bring it back to that image. Whatever it is that elevates your soul. We said, I said earlier, before you got here, that it doesn't have to be something super spiritual, like a mandala or anything. I'm thinking about it tends to the chief's arrowhead. And that's what's going to help me stay focused. Gently bring my mind back to that any time that starts to think about dinner or tomorrow. Bring it back to one thing to concentrate on. Gently bringing the mind back to that present moment. That image to keep us present. And to make this present moment our ally and our friend. Every time we gently bring our mind back to that thing, we're strengthening our concentration. Now with our breath, just gently letting go of this shape. And then coming into our rebound. So maybe if you're on your stomach right now, you can just straighten out that leg. If you're on your back, find that Shavasana. And feel that chi just kind of settle in the body.
Now when you're ready, you want to come up out of your rebound. And we'll find our way to a seat again. If you want to stay in your rebound, stay there. And there's no rush. That's the beauty of yin yoga. <laughs> of all yoga, there's no rush, but especially the yin. So there's a couple different options here. So maybe bring the left foot in kind of close. And then bring the right foot maybe in front. So from the side, it might look like this with that foot in front. We're going to maybe feel it like on the outer leg a little bit. If that doesn't feel good for you, then bring this left leg long and you can bring the right knee kind of over the top. Maybe see if there's a stretch on that side of the leg or you can bring this leg there. So we can stack our knees, notice it on the side of the leg. <clears throat> you can have that foot out, have the right leg at an angle. So maybe feeling the outer hip stretch on either leg. Maybe noticing it on the inner leg a little too. Find what's gonna support you and just allowing yourself to round the spine if you need to, tuck that chin in. Yeah. And bringing the awareness back to whatever it was to hold our focus, that concentration. Making this moment our ally and our friend. In those moments that aren't quite so fun or enjoyable, we find ourselves tripping and falling, or not sleeping, or in an awkward conversation. What if we had chosen that? What if our soul had chosen that? For the evolution of itself. What if our soul said, I'm gonna choose this, this, and this, and it's gonna be hard, but I wanna grow. We look at that moment through that lens and we trust that higher self. Maybe it takes a little bit of the edge off. Doesn't mean that it's easy, but there's an element of trust that can bubble up and give us a little bit of hope.
Let's begin to count down our breaths from three to zero. When you get to the bottom of that last breath, find your rebound, so on your stomach or on your back. Moving without rush, but with intention. Is it full leg? And when you're ready, you can gently roll over to your side and come back up to your seat. And now this time that right leg is going to be on the bottom and that left knee maybe on that right foot and the left foot can be kind of at that angle in front. You might feel it again on the outer leg, that glute. Or if you want that right leg on the bottom and you want to stack those knees, I know that one of you likes that one. <laughs> you can round, that feels okay. That leg that's on top, so with that left leg now, it can be, it doesn't even have to be at, at that angle there. It can be kind of out. If you're folding forward a little, just feeling it, and that glute, that outer hip. So what's going to work for you is going to be different than anybody else. And sometimes when I practice, Again, I don't even care where I feel it. I just want to relax. <laughs> so I just find something that feels good and then I just melt into that. So wherever you're at tonight. Make that exhale long. And bring that concentration to that image of that thing. And keep that focus on that thing.
now you're welcome to stay here for a little bit longer. Or if you're ready for our final rebound of Shavasana, maybe offer a few more breaths here just to kind of close the shape before mindfully moving into Shavasana, knowing you can stay here if you'd like for just a little longer. But if you're ready to wind down into Shavasana, then go ahead and offer some closing breaths of gratitude before coming into Shavasana. Noticing the chi in the body. Letting that glitter flow and settle. Allow yourself to rest. Offer a deep breath in and a long sigh to kind of signal to your body that you're going to rest for a while. That the effort has passed. Maybe offering any movements in the body that might feel good to just get anything out to support you in relaxing even more. Yeah, just let yourself move. And then using that beautiful tool that is inside of us that we know is the breath. Offer a deep breath in. And exhale, deep breath out. And then follow with another deep breath in, deep breath out. Let go of any effort with the breath. Allow your body to feel connected to the earth and completely supported by the earth. And 
begins to bring your awareness to your right hand. Notice your right thumb, the fingers of the right hand. And soften the right palm. Bring your awareness to the right elbow, the right shoulder, the right side of the neck. Notice your right side of the body, your chest, your right side body, your right hip. Relax your right hip. Bring your awareness to the right big toe, the toes of the right foot, the sole of the right foot. Relax the ankle, the knee, and that right hip. And everything in between. Relaxing the entire right side of the body. Now bring your awareness to the left thumb. The palm of the left hand and all of the fingers of your left hand. Relax the left elbow, left shoulder. The entire left arm is heavy and relaxed. Relax the left side of the neck, the left side of the chest, the left side of the body. Now relax both of your lungs. And feel the heart suspended in your chest full of love and lightness. Relax your left big toe. The left toes, the sole, the left foot. The entire left leg now becomes heavy. The muscles of your left leg are relaxed. And your entire body knows that it is okay, that it can rest, and that you're safe. Relax the cheeks and the jaw. Relax. Relax. Completely relax. Completely effortless. Relax.
completely relaxed. We'd like to relax for the remainder of class in Shavasana. Then offer that to yourself. You'd like to come to a seated position and close with a little seated silent sit. You can do that too. There's no right or wrong. There's no better. It's your practice and whatever is going to support you in this present moment, whatever you choose. But wherever you're at, just remain relaxed. And true to you. On your next inhale, imagine a light traveling up the spine to the crown of the head. And then exhale out the mouth. Relax. Inhale up the spine, that light traveling to the crown. Exhale out the mouth. Relax. We'll close with our Om Shanti together. We'll exhale and inhale. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om 